What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I am in the pet store right now and I got my mask on just because they are actually requiring you, everybody in this county to wear mask when you go out in public. So we got our mask on right now. I know a lot of people were saying I didn't have it fully on my face, but look, it's fully on my face right now. I even have a hazmat suit coming in this Friday. Yep, be prepared for that. We're gonna be redoing the Leopard Geckos Aquarium. It's not like this where you open out the glass, it's more of you go from the top. So I'm calling it an aquarium for now. So yeah, we're gonna go get some supplies for it and then go home and set it up. All right, so first things first is I'll, I want for their bedding, I wanna do like a coconut fiber. Eco Earth coconut fiber is the same thing. It's pretty much the best thing for them. I actually did last night. I know a lot of you have been saying do your research, so you know what I did last night? For one hour, I watched a whole leopard gecko tank set up and leopard gecko care. Just so you guys are satisfied with this whole tank setup, this mask keeps falling off. But yeah, so we're gonna get everything that they need to stay healthy and live a long time. Like I said, a lot of people that have been on this channel for a long time have known that I've had these leopard geckos for about eight years now. So I wanna keep them going. So we're gonna be redoing their aquarium today and making it sick. I wanna surprise them with a new piece, like something like a new hide. So I think I'm gonna get this log. It's pretty cool. They Remember, they're in a 55 gallon aquarium right now so it's pretty big for two leopard geckos and yes they are female and male they've had eggs before so we're also going to be setting up in the future we're going to make a video on that setting them up a little breeding um spot in the aquarium itself so i think i'm going to get this for them just because they deserve it and this is a big hide that they both can go in there's multiple entries and stuff they can lay on top of it so this is cool now we are going to need a light just because leopard geckos actually they don't require much lighting at all and they sometimes don't even need lighting but when you have them in a room or something that doesn't have any windows and they have no lighting where they can't tell from day to night then that's when you want to get a nice little UVB not any heating just because they are gonna have a heating pad underneath their hide yeah so I think we're gonna go with this 26 watt UVB and then this should be perfect for them now we are not gonna need much stuff here at the pet store just because a lot of the stuff I already have at my house from previous but and we're gonna reuse it but for now, we got some new stuff, and I think we're gonna head out, head home, and get going on this new Leopard Gecko setup. We are now back home, and we got the Leopard Gecko Aquarium right here. And it's empty right now because I got everything out beforehand. I got the Leopard Geckos in a temporary little holding cage, and now we have all our supplies right there. And it's time to set this thing up. So first things first, I think what we're gonna do is start off with the substrate. And we got Eco Earth, or, um, Coconut soil, that's pretty much the same thing. I also did get a thing of Eco Earth. So yeah, first we need to get a bucket, fill it up with water, then put, put the Eco Earth in it, and I'll explain it as I'm doing it, why we have to do that. So let's head outside with a bucket and do that. All right, so I got the bucket right here. What I'm gonna do is fill it to probably about a, like, I would say 30% of the bucket. got the eco earth so as you can see it's a brick right now and what we're filling up this bucket for is because we're gonna take these bricks and put them in the bucket and what they're gonna do is ex eventually they'll expand into like a dirt they're not a dirt but just like a sub yeah no a dirt a substrate and this is just coconut fiber so we'll let that sit for about I would say about 30 minutes once it expands you'll see what I mean we got the substrate, and as you can see, it is turned into like a real substrate now. It's very, very moist, it holds water very well. So I always set my tanks up as a desert theme, but after looking at some comments and stuff, cause I've, re I've redone their aquariums like th three or four times, just absolutely redone the whole scaping and everything. And I saw some comments on one of them where I did it like a desert theme, and some people were just saying that it's not good for them. And then I looked up online some care facts and stuff like that, and I found out that they like stuff like this and so we're gonna get this put this on the bottom of the aquarium and then we'll start decorating it and it should turn out pretty sick but anyways let's head inside and do that all right so what I'm gonna do is just get handfuls just like that and these guys do like I said they like it moist so when you spray them down I got like little misters and stuff and and I'm gonna spray them down just to help with their shedding and stuff like that, and they just, it, they enjoy it. And so that's why this is good stuff, because it holds water very well. Right now it's very, very moist. It should, 
It will dry up once it sits for a couple hours and then it will, you'll see the texture is a little different. So I got all the substrate at the bottom of the tank. I left about three inches of substrate because I know these guys like to burrow in the substrate just because they like to keep warm and stuff. And we also have this heating pad that I'm gonna put at the bottom to keep them warm. So now it's time to decorate it. So I bought some stuff and I also have some stuff from previous. So yeah, now I'm gonna decorate it. So once I get everything picked out, I'll pick the camera back up and see how it turned out. All right, so I got this big hide and I think I'm gonna put this one right here because this is where their heating pad is. So then go in there, get some heat, and then they have also, the heating pad doesn't take up this whole thing, but it takes up a good half of it. So they have a heat side and then a cool side. And then I'm also gonna build them like a little moist hide, just so they can go in there. It's good for them. And yeah, it looks good so far. What else do we have? Oh, also, water dish. We got a large water dish, but it's not too deep. It's pretty shallow. I think this is gonna go right here in this corner. Yeah, perfect. Kind of dig it to where it's sitting even. So we got our water dish, we got our hide, and next, our, next up is the plants and logs that I've had from previous times. So we're gonna go outside and grab those just because I sprayed everything down. And um, yeah, then we're gonna make the moist hide. Now, what I think I'm gonna do is get this log going up like at an angle like that so they can climb up this log and then we'll kind of bury that in to make it look like it's coming out of the ground. That'll look pretty cool. Yeah, that looks sick. That does look really sick, wow. And then I got another little hide, just in case, you know, female and male, they get in a little argument one night, he can go sleep on the couch for the smaller hide. Plants, we're gonna do one plant right back here. He's just suction cup to the wall. This guy, where do we want to do this guy? Say like right here, it's a good spot. So right here, we have a little fake cactus. We got our log going up here to the to where they can sit up high. Then we have a plant. Then they also can go through here, access this big hide, and then they have a smaller hide next up is to build the moist hide. And basically, we're just going to do that DIY. I've seen some videos on it. I actually looked at some last night on how to build them. So we're going to do that right now. All right, so right here is the moist hide. And basically what I did was I got a little Tupperware, cut a little hole for them to enter and exit through. And then I got some wet paper towels and these will stay moist for a pretty long time, for about three, four days. And you just wet them and then you load them into the Tupperware, put the top on and then the geckos can enter right in there. And then about every four days or when you go to mist them, you also mist this and it just keeps the paper towels always moist. So. Then what we'll do is we'll put this in the corner. You can go get moss and stuff and decorate this thing. What I think I'm gonna do for now is just leave it and then eventually I will go get some moss and cover it just so you don't see a bright, a bright pink Tupperware in there. But for now, they'll be able to go in there and get the moisture they need to get. And um, yeah, it should be pretty happy. So we got our UVB light only in here. We got our heating pad over there. We got our moist side water dish new substrate, got some logs. They're gonna be living pretty happy in here, but let's go grab them and put them in here to see how they like it. So we got Squirtle and Pikachu right here. I've had these leopard geckos for about eight years now. They're awesome, awesome pets. I highly recommend them. If, you're, if it's a first reptile to get these, they're pretty easy to care for. And yeah, so let's add Squirtle in. Look at that, loves it. Oh, he's going right into the hive. There he goes, you can probably see him. All right, now Pikachu is very pretty squirmy. Calm down, girl. Ready? Look at, loves it. I wonder how they're gonna react. We're gonna fill that water dish up. Look at them, oh, they're both going in there. I also picked them up some crickets I'm gonna put in here later, and they'll be able to feed on those. So they're gonna be some pr pretty happy lizards. And with that being said, guys, our leopard gecko tank setup is complete. We got some awesome things for them, and they're going to be living pretty happy. We're going to be having all the animals in the videos more often now because I'm going to be setting up a room to where it's just all my animals, so it's going to be an animal room. It's going to be absolutely crazy. But, um, yeah, for now, these guys are happy. Look at them. Oh, it's, they're just, he's coming out of the hole. So we got the male, and then we got the female over there. 
and they actually, like I said, they had eggs. So if you want to see where we make a little enclosure for their eggs, where they can lay them and stuff, drop a comment down below. Also give this video a like and yeah, we'll do that. But we're also going to need an incubator and I think Paul actually has one that I gifted him about like a year ago. So I think he'll let me borrow that thing to incubate their eggs if they do have some more. But um, yeah, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We have some crazy, crazy content coming for you guys. And we'll see you in the next one. See ya! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Make sure you guys subscribe and like this video. See ya!